99.9. ABSC. Jiggle me timbers, <laughs> you are gorgeous. <laughs> yes, and uh, you got a movie opening up on Friday. And uh, by the way, I saw it last night. Jiggle me timbers! <laughs> that was a long two and a half hours, boy. I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> hey, Max, you've been saying that all morning. Jiggle me timbers. Where'd you get that? Well, maybe it'll be my new catchphrase. I didn't know I had to clear everything with the lollipop gill. Yeah, whoa, whoa, hey. careful, boss. <laughs> Willie will beat the crap out of your kneecap. <laughs> or higher, even. You guys. Well, hey, no, I, I think it'll catch on. Jiggle me timbers! <laughs> Looking for wife number two? You know? Better check upstairs. Oh, my God. That's what's his name? From the radio, <laughs> Max Hudson. A gas leak at Max Hudson's house. Oh, he's gonna have a field day with this. Yeah. Don't tell me, Kimberly, that, that you actually believe in the sanctity of marriage. I do. Kimberly can even spell sanctity. I bet she can't even. I'll turn the gas off. Say sanctity. Sanctity. Close enough. <laughs> Close <laughs> enough. <laughs> Mr. Monk? Yeah? I'm sorry to bother you at home. I read about you on the internet, and I looked up your address. I don't know where else to go. My sister Jeanette died four weeks ago. There was a gas fireplace in the bedroom. It was turned on, and she was asphyxiated. This is a copy of the coroner's inquest. They said it was an accident. But, Mr. Monk, Jeanette never used that fireplace. I know he killed her. Uh-oh. What? There's only 39 shoes for this one missing. Mr. Monk, is that important right Well, it's like a dark brown Ramado loafer. Mm -hmm. It's about a size 10 and a half or 11, okay. I guess. Okay. That's a 10 and a half. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Monk, Jeanette was found here. Yeah. <clears throat> so she turned it like this and then forgot it was on? No. Oh. Look at this. Hmm. Dried. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, dried. Dried leaves. Fire would have burned them or charred them. Uh, this this thing hasn't been used in months, if ever. That's what I was saying. It couldn't have been an accident. Oh. Okay. oh. So, you have the inventory there. Yes. Is there any? Matches or, or cigarette lighters um, in the room? No. No, no, no. Matches anywhere? That makes no sense. So she died on the 15th? Yeah, that's right. Two days before her 10th wedding anniversary. They always did something special, go on a big trip. Last year they went to Cabo. Not this year. Look, July 17th, 10th anniversary. Natalie, nothing written, nothing planned, nothing erased. He knew she wouldn't be around. Linda, I think you're right. I think he killed her. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, uh, just for the record, you're here because of my sister in law. Looney Linda. That's right, Looney Linda, who <laughs> thinks. I murdered my wife. Isn't that charming? Oh. So you think I murdered my wife, even though I was right here, on the air, live, when she died? Well, I do have a few questions. Oh, because from what I've seen, it seems unlikely that that bedroom fireplace was ever used. According to the crime scene photos, the fireplace flue was closed and there were no matches anywhere. You don't think what happened to Jeanette was an accident, do you? Wow. Well, yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you something, just between us, man to man. I loved Jeanette, but she was sick. She was clinically depressed. Depressed? Yeah. 
Her own family didn't even know. She turned on the gas, closed the door, and... Suicide? Yeah, I tried everything. <laughs> See, you're happy now. Was she seeing a doctor or a psychiatrist? Uh, she never went. She wouldn't go. And she didn't even tell her sister. And you dealt with this clinical depression by mocking her on the air and not making any plans for your anniversary. I'm not buying it. You killed her. How? Hmm? How could I possibly have killed her? The house was locked. I was on the radio. I don't know yet. According to your publicist. You know no, that's it. That's it. You have any questions for me? You talk to my lawyer. Okay, he was on, on the radio. Doing a show, and the house was locked. Locked and bolted from the inside. The little window in the back was open, but only eight inches. Not big enough for a little person, which has already been established scientifically. Is that a loafer? Yeah, I think so. Here he comes. Oh, a brown Ramado loafer, size ten and a half. How do you know that? Oh, uh, hello again. Uh, he's not bothering you, is he? No, 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 just curious. Where did he get that shoe? Oh, hell. It's not yours, is it? I am so sorry. He has a thing for shoes. I don't know where he got this shoe. He uh, just had it when we got back from our vacation. You were on vacation? Hawaii. We go every July. Who was watching the dog? <laughs> oh, you're not going to believe it. I still can't believe it. Max Hudson. He just uh, volunteered. I mean, think a guy like that would have better things to do. Linda. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know the legal definition of harassment, but uh, this is pretty close. Mr. Hudson, that's a search warrant. You've been duly served. Uh, sure, okay. Knock yourself out. You'll just embarrass yourselves again. It's over, Max. We know how you did it. We know what you were doing every day at 2 o'clock. You were next door. That's right, I was. I was house-sitting. I was watering their plants. Nah, uh, you were training their dog. We replayed a tape of the show you made the morning your wife died. That was the day you introduced your new catchphrase, Jangle My Tenders. Jiggle me timbers. You never said it before that day. Or since. I'm a big fan. Well, I was. Unless you're not guilty, in which case we're all really sorry about all of this. Although I'm pretty sure you're guilty. But if you're not, I'm sorry. Oh, this is insane. Well, it's easy enough to prove. Let's do it. After uh, Friday, I saw him last night. Jiggle me timbers! <laughs> The new catchphrase, that was your command. That dog was your accomplice. You worked with him every day for a month. You trained him to murder your wife. That morning, you could have been a 100 miles away. You left his cage open and a radio on. All you had to do was go on the air and give the command. You knew Jeanette would be fast asleep. You knew she'd never wake up. Oh, here he comes. You made one big mistake. Your partner, your accomplice, he's got a thing for shoes. He stole one of yours and brought it home. So is he under arrest? Yes, he is. Thank you, Mr. Monk. Thank you. You heard the lady, Max. You're under arrest. Give me your hands. You're not laughing now. Are you? Are you? No. I'm not laughing. Join the club. Let's go.
it's a jungle out there Disorder and confusion everywhere No one seems to care Well, I do Hey, who's in charge here? 